Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, we're going to call this week two with the 740. I'm getting ready to give it a tune-up. All of the details of those uh, items will be found in the About comments below links to the specific videos and we'll cover a couple other things i did notice that my 17 inch blade is too long it's wiping over top of the top of the window and causing it to lift so i couldn't find a 14 inch at the uh, walmart so i went and got a 15 inch we'll see if that one will be short enough as you can see my spare tire that fits under my third row seat is pretty much destroyed so I need to find a spare for this car. So right now I have one of the other spares with me that uh, I pulled off the car, one of the original tires. And I'm going to use that for a spare until I find my others. And that's the head that I'm going to put on that uh, wagon that I'm giving away. My hood release is a little tight so I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with that. But as far as the tune up is concerned, I'm going to change the box air filter. I'm going to change the spark plugs, and I'm going to uh, clean out the flame trap and replace the plastic in the flame trap. So we'll cover those one by one. Okay, here's the Bosch Platinums that came out of there. And these are the standard Volvo plugs that's going back in. And they're just your regular copper tops. They will probably run better in the car and it, my history with the cars several years ago is when I ran these Volvo plugs, I would get about 25 miles to the gallon. And when I ran aftermarket plugs, I would get about 17, 18 miles to the gallon. My odometer's off. I'm not going to know what kind of gas mileage I'm going to get. But I'm going to run these for a year and pull them out and see what they look like. Uh, or 10,000 miles, whichever come first, if I could get the odometer counting. Also, I think you're supposed to change them every 30,000 miles. Check them every 15. If you're running a stock setup, that should be fine. If you're uh, running some kind of performance setup, you may need to do something else with them. Remember not to uh, put your spark plugs in too tight. And I noticed that these are not Volvo wires. So I'm going to replace those wires soon. I have the man filter I'm about to put in. I didn't know I was going to have that white stuff on there. But that's the one I'm taking out. So go ahead and swap that out. Next thing I'm going to do is unclip this. Unplug this mass airflow sensor. And spray down in there to clean that out a little bit. I went ahead and took the mass airflow sensor totally off. So I'm going to spray down in there a little bit and clean it out. But be gentle with it because these things are very fragile. And don't try to get past these screen guards. Just spray down through there. Next, I'm taking these air intake tubes off. I used to do this every 5,000 miles with my other 740. You can get away with waiting every 10,000. But I did learn that my throttle would try to gum up every five. Now, I wasn't running uh, fuel treatment in my gas. But I'm going to do that every... Uh, two months with this vehicle or every 2,500 miles if that odometer starts working but take these clamps loose here 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 and here and take this throttle body intake tube off and take this intake tube off when I had my other 740 anytime I had idling issues or starting issues I normally took this tube off and found some hole on the underside of it. So you got to make sure you check this tube every 10,000 miles. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. If it does, replace it. So I'm going to take these four clamps loose and take this piping off. Clean out the piping and then I'm going to clean the throttle body. Oh crap, look at the gunk that poured out of that tube. Looks like oil, so I'm going to have to rinse that off of there. And it's running down, and it's all in this tube here that I just took loose from the throttle body. So, I need to investigate, find out why it's going on there. So, I pulled this tube off the intake, and this is all the crap that's coming out of there. That's just nasty. Not sure why that's happening. Okay, I got some of that cleaned off. My alternator 
still dripping down on my air conditioner compressor. I'm going to clean out the throttle body. I'm not going to remove it. I have removed it in the past, but I don't have a throttle body uh, gasket. And this tube that runs over here runs over to this flame trap. There's a possibility that that flame trap and that tubing is clogged, so I'm going to pull that apart and replace that little flame trap in there and clean that out just to make sure that that's not causing this gunk buildup in my intake tube. From the passenger side of the motor, I come down here between injector 3 and 4 and I see my flame trap housing and it looks like the tube that goes from the flame trap to the back of the uh, intake manifold is cracked and broken off. So if I don't have that part, I'm going to go uh, order a new one and I'm going to pull that flame trap stuff off from right there. So I just reach over top of the fuel rail, pull that flame trap assembly out, and then lift that tube up. And then I can uh, work that flame trap out of this hose here. But I do need to get this nipple fixed on here so that I don't have that vacuum leak because that could be causing some issues so this is the uh, red block PCV system anyway I worked the uh, flame trap housing off of the hose and I can see daylight through it so it's not totally clogged but I believe I do have another one of those so I'm gonna replace that and I'm gonna get this housing with this nipple so I can get this vacuum hook back on there right so I'm gonna clean this up replace this uh, plastic piece put that back together and try to work out a way to get that vacuum hose hooked back up. Okay, I poked that out with a screwdriver, just pushed the screwdriver up the bottom of the housing and forced out this flame trap, a uh, little plastic piece. And as you can see, there's the new one versus the old one. And it's probably 20% blocked, but that's the new one I'm about to put in. Okay, I scraped all the carbon out of the PCV housing and uh, flame trap housing and that's all that stuff there you want to make sure that port's clear now I'm going to uh, try to get that tube on there somehow and put this stuff back together okay I used a hacksaw blade and sawed away a little bit of that housing so I could slip this hose down on there so that's going to be for temporary and, uh, and I'll order another one of these flame trap housing well my bright idea didn't work as soon as I started to push the hose onto the tube, it, the tip of it just broke off. It was so brittle. So that's not going to be hooked up until I can get another one of these housings. To get that flame trap vacuum hooked up temporarily back to the intake manifold, I found a little tube off of an 850 that I used to supplement that. So now I'm going to put, make sure this is clear and plug that back into the um, system. Now you use your throttle body cleaner to clean your throttle body and sometimes I actually if I could see gunk up in there I actually use a soft toothbrush to help uh, brush that stuff out. So there's the throttle body and how dirty that is and you can move the cable assembly to open that up while you're cleaning it. So that's what it looks like after spraying around in there a little bit like I said, you can rub in there with a soft toothbrush to make sure you uh, get it as clean as you can. You just don't want the butterfly sticking in the housing. So this is my end result on cleaning the throttle body without taking it all the way off. Uh, I'm probably going to take it off in the next uh, 30 days to give it a good thorough cleaning when I get the uh, PCV parts and a throttle body gasket. Now to tune up or clean your air intake system on this uh, Volvo 740, you want throttle body cleaner, flat tip screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a number 7 millimeter ratchet, and some brake parts cleaner, and the um, uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. So you want those things, clean that out, get you a flame trap, and check those uh, vacuum lines and tubings. So... I'm going to check the remainder of the vacuum lines and tubing and see if anything is uh, broken or needs to be replaced or disconnected uh, from around the throttle body and intake system all the way over to this purge valve over here. Now, 
what you want to understand about that flame trap and that little system there for the breather system is if that system is plugged up, it can cause issues like other cars with pressurizing the motor, blowing the rear main seal, and stuff like that. Now, I got this intake tube cleaned out. I'm going to drive the car for about a month. I'm going to take that intake tube system back apart. And if that thing is full with oil and gunk again, I know there's something wrong that I need to figure out and deal with. Now, since I was having a little oil blow by out of this oil cap, I got a new seal here. I'm going to replace that. And my next stop is to the gas station. I'm going to go ahead and fill the gas tank all the way up. And I'm going to dunk this uh, fuel injector cleaner in there to uh, begin that process. So That oil cap seal was so hard and brittle that I had to pry it off with a screwdriver. And it broke into pieces getting it off. First start after the tune-up, see if it starts up any easier or kind of sputters like it usually does. And it's still sputtering a little bit and it's cold so we'll see how it runs. Driving down the freeway, the speedometer decided to work again. The gas gauge is working and the service light came on so I need to reset that. So. It claims I have more than half a tank of gas. I doubt it. I'll find out shortly. Cruising down the highway about 65 miles an hour, all of a sudden, my overdrive kicked out, and now I'm revving at 3,000 at 52 miles an hour. So, I don't know why I kicked out of That's it for this week. I'm going to order some parts and get some things changed, and I'll update you on the next week, which will probably be uh, transmission flush, coolant flush, uh, brake job, and stuff like that. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.